Hey there everyone, this is Michael Dugo, the Nootropic Reviewer, and during this video you're going to learn about three powerful nootropic supplements that will help you to better handle OCD-like symptoms. OCD is commonly described on Google and Wikipedia as a mental behavioral disorder in which an individual has intrusive thoughts and feels the need to perform certain routines repetitively to relieve the distress caused by obsession to the extent where it impairs general function. A few symptoms that are somewhat common are fear of contamination or dirt, needing things orderly and even symmetric and hoarding objects or materials. Now what I really like about these three nootropics is that I see them as relatively safe and they're also nootropics that you can use to improve your executive function, help you with focus, help you even with your memory. And the very first nootropic and I believe the most popular at better handling OCD-like symptoms is N-acetyl-L-cysteine. And one of the things I like most about N-acetyl-L-cysteine for the treatment of OCD is that there are some good studies out there. This one here, for example, efficiency of NAC augmentation on obsessive compulsive disorder. And this was a a well done study because it took place over the duration of 10 weeks. It was controlled. It was a double blind placebo study and there were 34 OCD patients. Now the most common way in which OCD is measured is through this scale here called the Yale Brown Obsessive Compulsive Scale. And the study did actually conclude that through this measure, the Yale Brown Obsessive Compulsive Scale, that the score decreased significantly compared to the placebo group. And while not only being very effective for handling OCD, something great about NAC was that it was well tolerated by the individuals, meaning that they didn't feel any side effects. It is worth pointing out that the individuals that were using NAC during the study were also using an antidepressant, but the whole group was using the antidepressant, meaning that NAC, when added, did help with OCD-like symptoms. And I believe that NAC ranks as the number one nootropic supplement for better handling OCD-like symptoms based on some of the anecdotes. If you look on Google, you look on Reddit, you look for good solutions to OCD, you'll find that NAC is pretty much the only one that's talked about. Over here on Reddit, somebody posted that NAC is life-changing because their OCD CD has been horrific for years and the research behind NAC is really solid and it's been a great help for them. And there's a lot of people that use N-acetyl-L-cysteine, including myself, on and off. Now, it's a very powerful antioxidant. I don't use it specifically for the OCD-like benefit. What I often use it for is for general health. I'm not using it right now. I'm not crazy about the supplement. But what we know about it is that it often does go well with other nootropic supplements. I find that a lot of people use things like other racetabs or they use adaptogens and then they add NAC as a supplement and they just find the whole nootropic stack works a lot better. It's been my experience using NAC that maybe I get a margin benefit with focus, maybe a little bit more willpower and discipline throughout the day, but it's nothing too significant. And the way that I've been using it is taking it from Nootropics Depot, 500 milligram capsules. If you get in the powder form, it doesn't taste too bad. So that's an option as well. I wouldn't say the studies are super conclusive that NAC could work as a good practical solution because of the fact like this study over here, they were taking dosages of 2,400 to 3,000 milligrams of NAC per day, which is just not practical because of the fact like with the capsules, for example, these are 500 milligrams per serving. And the common serving size of NAC is going to be between 500 milligrams to 1500 milligrams per day. It doesn't really matter when during the day you take it. I personally prefer taking it once in the morning, but I know a lot of people that take 500 milligrams once in the morning and then again sometime in the afternoon, say two o'clock. It's not stimulatory. It doesn't energize you or cause you to be alert, which makes it okay to take before going to sleep. But also you'll find NAC surprisingly in a lot of pre-workout supplements out there. So it's pretty inconclusive exactly what the supplement does. But one thing we know is that it's very popular for OCD-like symptoms. And what about side effects? I wouldn't personally worry when it comes to NAC, it's very soft, very subtle, probably not noticeable for most individuals. Uh, you may experience a slight headache, but if that is the case, then consider drinking more water and that should be a good solution. Second nootropic supplement that individuals use for OCD-like symptoms is inositol. People often do mistaken it for being part of the vitamin B complex, but it's actually not. It's a sugar that's made by the body and often used actually for insulin resistance and basically helping you better use incoming calories into fuel. See, when you have insulin resistance, what happens is you're eating food and you're not using it as energy. You're basically just eating food and it's being stored on your body as body fat. And inositol is thought of as a supplement that can better fight against that and also potentially fight against diabetes to some extent. So it's a great supplement. It helps you to better process insulin. Now, I don't personally take it just because I don't want to be taking every nootropic supplement in the world, but this definitely looks like an option for handling OCD-like symptoms based on this study over here. Inositol treatment of obsessive compulsive disorder. And similar to the previous study I had mentioned, they used the same scale and there were 13 patients that used inositol. And fortunately, they did actually see a tremendous difference. And they also found that it was effective at reducing the likelihood of panic attacks as well as depressive symptoms. Now the issue with this study though is that the individuals they weren't taking a little bit of inositol they were taking way more than a practical amount. They were actually taking 18 grams a day and if you look at getting some inositol typically capsules are going to be 500 milligrams so that's 36 capsules per day definitely not practical. However maybe there's something to be said who knows about going through this protocol once and then better handling OCD like symptoms afterwards. Nobody really knows
goes at this point, OCD is still somewhat of a mystery, but these two supplements seem to be the most effective based on the research. This is an encouraging read because this user actually did try the 18 grams a day of the inositol and they took it in the powder form in three separate doses per day. You can see inositol making a huge improvement on my anxiety and severe OCD. They started with a dosage of like 10 to 12 grams and as they raised the dosage, they actually noticed they were overall feeling more relaxed. So it's worth pointing out that they use inositol alongside with a choline supplement. My favorite choline supplement is Alpha GPC, which I've talked about in this video over here. And I strongly believe that choline supplementation is a must for all things cognition. So I really enjoy using Alpha GPC and use it every single day. And it's also fine if you take it before going to sleep because it's super subtle, not stimulating, not energizing. So taking it before bed is absolutely fine. And it also doesn't matter whether or not you take it with a meal or without a meal. And the third nootropic supplement is one of my favorites. It's Lion's Mane Mushroom. And this helps with all things anxiety. I think it depends what kind of OCD you actually have. For some people, it's more mental with their actual thinking. But then we have the individual that's challenged with OCD and their issue is that they keep on washing their hands, for example. I don't know if Lion's Mane may help so much in that particular scenario, but what I do know is that Lion's Mane really helps to keep you calm. You're far less attached to a specific thing going your way, which obviously relieves stress and you're able to still take action. I like that with Lion's Mane versus the first and second nootropic, it's just simply more effective. You'll likely notice something happening with it. You'll be in a better mood. I noticed when I started taking Lion's Mane that suddenly a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders to be super successful, to put in work every single day. Like I was still taking action, but I didn't feel that stress or this pressure that was on me. However, we don't have any research on Lion's Mane and its uses for OCD, but I think that it will be just a matter of time until Lion's Mane is one of the more popular solutions. I'm typically taking the eight to one dual extract from Nootropic Depot. That's my preferred form of Lion's Mane. I'm taking it twice a day currently, uh, once in the morning at 500 milligrams and then once sometime in the afternoon at 500 milligrams. And I love the fact with Lion's Mane, like I can use it in such a good variety of ways. I can use it during my time off because I find that it helps me to relax, but I can also use it when I'm working. Though one of the common downsides with Lion's Mane is that it can demotivate some individuals. I find this is common for maybe like 20% of individuals. So that's why some people prefer not taking it. But for most people, it seems to do more good than it does bad. And Lion's Mane as well as a supplement that you can consider taking fasted or you can take it in a fed state. It doesn't make much of a difference. It's a little bit energizing, but not that energizing for most individuals. And you should likely feel it working within a few days. If not, after seven days, you'll notice that your baseline mood, it'll be a little bit higher. And you'll suddenly find yourself being a lot more grateful for this wonderful life that we're living. Now, I kept this list to three, but the fourth one, if I was to mention a fourth one, would be l -thenine. I've talked about it more in this video over here. Just because with l I don't like the fact that I don't see it as a consistent supplement that you can use every single day, but definitely will give you the two to three hours of benefit if you're looking for it. So make sure you check out that video if you're looking for another option. And if you did get value from this video, consider subscribing, drop a like. And if you want to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can message me on Patreon or send me a direct message on Instagram. And be sure to visit our Discord server, which has a 24-7 chat room. We're answering questions in a time-sensitive fashion, having a whole lot of fun. I thank you for your interest in nootropics and look forward to seeing you next time.